today I am going to be reviewing this. It is a Dr. Tardis set from The Visitation. It's an exclusive B&M set. On the front, you, there's a pit, like a nice like, grey design of the Tardis. It says it's a collector's series in the 5.5 inch scale. It's got the limited edition foil sticker. And it also says it's a fi the fifth doctor and TARDIS from the visitation. On it's got a nice window box on the front as well. On the side, you can see it's got a nice view of the TARDIS and the figure inside with a little nice grey design of the TARDIS. On this side, we can get a nice view of the figures inside. On the back you get a breakdown of the synopsis of the story of the visitation. It's also got a promotional picture of the figures and on the bottom it's got all the legal stuff that comes with any character options product. Now let's get into it. <clears throat> Inside you get a nice diorama set of the visitation from when from where the doc like the Tardis lands in that story. Let's talk about the figure. So the figure, it, it's like normal Fifth Doctor figures, except this one comes with a hat. It's nicely painted, like molded in a like beige plastic with a nice paint around it of red. The face sculpt looks really good. There's no bleeds. It's a really good sculpt of done. The jacket is really good. I like the detail of the celery they've got on the jacket. They've picked out some nice features by highlighting the pockets in that red. <coughs> Uh, the body looks like it's moulded in a beige plastic. They made it look like it's got a woolly jumper on. As it's very crisp and clean in the design of it. I like the painting on the jumper because they made it look like it's made out of wool. The court is very nicely sculpted. The legs are moulded in a beige plastic with golden red stripes on. The, sh the trainers are nicely sculpted in white plastic. They've got some nice details on to them. Articulation wise, there's a 360 articulation at the neck, at the shoulders, at the biceps, bend at the elbow, 360 at the wrist. There's a T crotch joint so they can go out and kick out to the side. There's articulation in the thigh. There's a bend at the knee, so usually the usual figure articulation. Let's move on and talk about the TARDIS. Now, this is a good a box I've done. It's got the stacked roof, which is appropriate for this story, where it's from. 
It's got the thin base. It, there's no electronics to it, like the B and M Rangers don't, and there's no interior card. The police public open call box sign on the front is in a dark blue with white text. The police public call box sign around the top, yet again, that looks like it's a dark blue white text. All the windows seem to have this dirty wash on, just like the TARDIS itself has got a dirty wash to it, which makes it look good. There's a, there's a little bit dirt, there's a little bit dirt, like, going around the bottom of the window panes. This is just your bog standard classic TARDIS from B&M. It does open as usual. You got two doors open there, like that. You got a little catch up in there to hold this door in place, like so. And there's a button down there that closes that door. There is a speaker grill on the back, but because it's not electronic, that's a useless thing. There's only one bad thing I would say about this, and it's the fact that earlier it's made out of a thin material. I shone a torch through it, and you can see the light through it, so it's very thin plastic used. But what do you expect for £20 from, e from eBay? Well, for me, be happy at twenty five. If you can go, if you can still get in B and M, then it's twenty pounds. But in all, it's a good figure. I recommend buying it if you can. I wouldn't pay too much of a silly price. I was lucky; I was able to get it for twenty five pounds which is only £5 over what the recommended price was.